Okay, hey everybody, uh, somebody let me know you can hear me, maybe pop a question in the box, just say yo-ho, what's going on? Um, we are here for the weekly uh, Marketplace and Add-ons webinar here at Inside Real Estate. So uh, we're, this today will be kind of a quick one. It might be a topic that not everybody's interesting in, interested in, but this is a, a topic that you might want to put in the back of your head in case you decide you want to, or maybe you know an agent or your broker or team leader or some, somebody might be interested in this content. What we're going to talk about is the WordPress token for the WordPress plugin. So usually what we do on these Wednesday webinars is we talk about things that would add on or extend uh, either KV Core or Conversion Plus. And uh, in this case, we are focused on the KV Core plugin this week, the WordPress token. And that's findable um, in the Marketplace tab of KV Core. And then we have this DIY WordPress token right here. Annalise, are you with me today? I am, and uh, I do, I say, yo-ho, I hear you when I see you, and I did just drop the link to the document uh, that we're going to be following along into the chat for everybody. Yep, so guys, uh, I'll keep this short and sweet. What we're going to do, we're just going to kind of walk through uh, what the plugin looks like, uh, what it does. Um, in case nobody knows, I'm going to go very basic to start. WordPress is a huge CMS, content management system. I think almost everybody on today has probably heard of it. You've probably seen commercials on TV. Um, I think it's something like 30 or 40 percent, don't quote me on that number, of the sites on the internet run on WordPress. So it's a very popular platform both with real estate and outside of real estate uh, because it has a lot of flexibility. You do all kinds of stuff. You can bend it in a lot of different ways. And uh, I personally have spent a lot of my life, I might even call it 10,000 hours, messing with WordPress under the hood before before this life with inside real estate. So uh, it's a topic that's near and dear to my heart. And I think it's really cool that KV Core actually has a pretty good plugin, I would say, um, for use with WordPress. I was just playing with it again to prepare for this session. And it's pretty robust. It's got pretty good stuff going on. So um, the idea here is that if you want to build your own WordPress site and integrate it with KV Core, you can do that. And uh, what I have, just to tease you, I have my propertynox.com site, the domain I've owned forever, that I use for testing stuff. And I kind of have a quick sneak peek of the plugin in action on the home page right here. Um, I can click through a property right here. And what WordPress gives you is, I, I've kept it really simple here, but I could have any kind of design in the world I want going on with this stuff happening inside of it, you know, with the IDX search happening inside of it and that's the idea if you want all, total control over your design you can do so now a few weeks ago we'll get to it in a minute we did a it's probably about two months ago now a month and a half ago we did a webinar about agent fire which kind of takes the plug in and gives you a sort of out of the box really beautiful branded site what i'm going to do today is kind of get to the nitty gritty for you geeks there who want to do all this for yourself and maybe we'll poke a little bit at agent fire just to see what the option is there if you want a shortcut but i just really wanted to run through what the plugin looks like under the hood and give you that context. Sound good, Annalisa? Anybody have any questions or comments? Uh, it sounds good to me. If someone could just drop into the chat on there and just let us know if you can hear us, if you can see the shared screen, then we'll know we are five by five and everybody's ready to roll. Pretty sure we're good to go, but I didn't, nobody verified. So just making yeah, sure. So, so I'll start here. I'll start in the marketplace. Uh, when you go to the WordPress token and you click get this, um, the token is $60 a month for the token. Um, part of that has to do with the maintenance involved, the cost to get set up. You know, it is another site that you're launching and uh, some stuff has to happen with respect to MLS boards and all that stuff. So um, it's a three month initial term, 30 day cancellation after the first three months. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna add to KV Core and then you'll have the order form right here. And what you'll get after the order form, I'm not sure if it happens right away or if it, takes a while to be provisioned, uh, but what you'll get is the token that you can use to integrate the plugin with your site. So let me show you that part right here. So I have some docs here about how to install it. Um, we have a nice help doc that's in, in here linked. Um, you can also go directly, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go directly to wordpress.org to the KV Core plugin, I've given you a link, and you're gonna wanna put that on your hard drive by downloading it. And then for anybody who's probably going to do this, you probably install the WordPress plugin before. But what you do is you go into your WordPress site, you go to plugins, and add new. And you can upload the zip file there. Now, you might be able to directly search for it inside of the plugin repository. Um, I just kind of did the shortcut there, went to the link, downloaded it, and then can re-upload it. It's not the shortcut. It's the long cut, actually. But uh, that's one way to do it. So I would just click upload plugin. 
and pop it in. Once the plugin is in your site, you're going to have this little KV Core dashboard over to the left, this little link down under settings. And uh, you'll have now the tabs that you can run through to start filling out options. So um, right here in the middle is where you put your KV Core authorization token. Pretty easy. And you can make sure it's set to live. Or I think you can leave it in staging so people can't see it, but I set it to live. Um, you can optimize for Canada. It changes verbiage, verbiage to province or postal code instead of state. Um, it hides pending and contingent listed and hides historical price data to be compliant in Canada. And then you just run and it'll create a bunch of pages on your site that has short codes installed. Um, Dawn, yes, this is going to be a WordPress focused webinar. If you leave us, I, we don't, um, we, will, <laughs> we won't mind. Um, we understand. Yeah, this is a WordPress plugin focused webinar. We have lots of replays, by the way, everybody. If this isn't something that interests you today at insiderealestate.com slash replays, we have hundreds of replays, including uh, the juicy one we did yesterday, um, the KB Core Daily Checklist. If you want to check that out, use that time to do this if you're not interested in WordPress. So anyway, um, you go ahead, you, you plug your token in, and uh, should go live on your site with pages should be installed. And out of the box, you can kind of go to pages. I'm always afraid of what we're going to see here because I've done over the years so many weird, wacky things with this site. But if I go to published, that's what I'll do. We should be able to get a look at the pages that it installs by default if I do it by date sort. So yeah, it, it creates a properties page, the one I just showed you. Um, let's do this. It creates an individual property page that is kind of the base URL when you're linking to an individual property uh, and so on. But the one you're probably, the feature you're probably going to be most concerned with is the short codes feature that you can pop into individual pages. So if I click right up here in the setup page, and I click, click here to see available short codes. There's the help desk article will show you sort of how to do this. So if I wanted to show all listings, I can just paste this into a page. And again, I think a lot of these pages have these by default. And then you can add parameters to your short code. So the doc does a really good job of outlining what you can do. And like I said, there's lots of different options right here. So if I go to under the hood and I look at my main page on the home here, it's got some parameters from 75,000 to 550. Or I can just drop all listings in like so. And quickly see all the listings. So now let's poke around. I'll show you some of the options you have with the way that all of this displays. Keep in mind, um, you can control all these colors. Um, you can also control, I believe, the display. So it's grid versus list. And a lot of the actual design, you can see it's very bare bones because it's very much about displaying the properties. Uh, and a lot of the design, I believe, is, is controlled by the CSS and the settings in your actual WordPress site. So it's obeying a lot of those rules. So this is going to integrate pretty nicely and look pretty tight with whatever design you have going with your WordPress site is the main, main point there. So let's go back into our settings. I'll click over to the brandings, branding and colors. So there's two design variations. You see, I can actually change my primary color. I might have been wrong about the CSS taking over, but you can see how for a lot, all the individual stuff, you can change things so that they match the skin of your site. That's the way I should have said that. So you have those options right there. Then your IDX pages are all shown right here. These are the ones they created that I was trying to get to before. So you have a properties page, listing details. You have an exclusives page um, that were all created. And you can kind of say which pages you want to show this stuff out of the box. IDX page options. So here we get to some of the fun stuff. Max listings per row. We do six. We do 48 listings per page. Do we want it to open a new listing and open a listing in a new tab? Listing type supported. Max agents per. So for your agent page, you can show your agents. How many per row? Um, filter your offices. So this is designed to be used if you wanted it for your whole uh, enterprise and you have multiple office locations, you could use it this way. Um, default listing agent ID and some stuff around listings. And then you can put for your agent profile, you can put your, uh, UR, your URL in and also include information about your lender. 
Uh, next thing we have here, it's very interesting. We have it in the WordPress plugin. We don't quite have it in KV Core yet, though it is coming. Uh, you can actually turn off registration site-wide with the WordPress plugin by toggling it to off. So we can do required, optional, uh, and set the number of property views site-wide and image views, like so. And I imagine, let's take a look at what this experience looks like for the registration. Imagine you guys might find this to be interesting. I know I do. So let's take a look. Go back to the home page. I want it to trigger the pop-up to make me register. So you can see, I think it did more rows. Hmm. You know what? I think. Because I'm logged in as the admin, I'm wondering. I'm going to go into an incognito window. It's not requiring me to register. Could be our issue. Let's try this. There we go. So register to continue. The pop-up comes, and then you can do email and phone right there. So it's a little bit of a different experience than on your main KV Core site. Social. Can set some settings um, to allow visitors to register on your site using Facebook, to register using Google. You can use the APIs with those sites, and there's there's uh, some instructions here for creating the apps and getting the keys. So that's cool. You can allow people to register for your site with social networks, and then you have this page here uh, where you can install scripts on all or individual pages. So that's just a really quick uh, webinar a w demo of what the plugin does and looks like right here. You also notice at the bottom of each listing, you have this similar properties uh, widget, like so. Got some price history, some school info. And again, this can be tightened up. I kind of just pop this on here, but I imagine if I had you know, a sidebar, it'll respond. See how it's kind of responding to mobile? So it's gonna look pretty nice on a phone, like this. And one of the big cool reasons, um, I use something called Thrive Themes, which comes with a big tool set. And one of one of the big reasons you might want to use something like WordPress is you get total flexibility over some lead capture elements. Like I could have stuff in the sidebar here, a sample text code like text here to get a list of fixer upper properties. I could have stuff under each listing and, uh, you know, really just anything that a WordPress plugin can do in conjunction with this, you could do as well. So that's the quick run through. That only took us about 10 minutes to explain. It's not too complicated. It's not too hard to install. As you saw, I had this all set up in about 10 minutes. You're gonna spend most of your time uh, with the short codes. Remember, you can build, you can use the short codes feature. You can build individual neighborhood pages. You can build pages with properties for specific price ranges. You can build a page for uh, income properties and get really niche down with the pages that you have on your site. I definitely need to mention that. So if you wanted to have a site like I have my Property Knox and I wanted to cater to investors, I might have seven pages that are like uh, properties under 50K, income properties, right? Pro pr price reduced, foreclosures. You know, you can really let your imagination run wild and really uh, control a lot of um, the, the pages that show. And also uh, game some SEO here too, because I'm pretty sure this is all gonna, this is all gonna index out um, right here. Don't hold me to that, but I think there's probably a way for me to set some rules with an SEO plugin and have this page say 7419 Mission Hills as the title that Google sees. I just know that I've done some wacky stuff with this WordPress install that might be overriding that um, in this case. Okay, um, any questions so far? I know I'm moving quick, but mostly because there's not too much to this. Like I said, uh, the WordPress plugin gives you lots of flexibility. Uh, we have in the doc here a link to a webinar we did with Agent Fire, um, so you could watch that. It was about six to eight weeks ago. And Agent Fire is basically a kind of out of the box, beautifully designed WordPress site with some extra knobs and switches and, and whistles that are associated with this um, KV Core plugin. So when I go into the Agent Fire dashboard, which is what I'm at here, it looks a little different because Agent Fire has gone ahead and wrapped some additional things. They put some plugins in out of the box. You have Gravity Forms, and it's kind of a shortcut, quick way to have your own site designed um, on WordPress. Let me see if I can find the actual URL here.
we want to see if, if we went ahead and did a really nice design or not for the demo. So yeah, this will give you an idea. This is an, a demo agent fire spark site. You see how I had the bare bones thing going because you know I do it myself and I'm real hacky. And then you start to get you, you have the option here with an agent fire site for them to out of the box where you point and click and choose some levers and, and change things around. You can have a lot of flexibility on how things look and it'll kind of look beautiful out of the box. They've also got and this great stuff. Go ahead. Well, I was going to say with the with the fire agent spark fire, you know, they have that micro niche available too. So if they want to get into that, uh, you know, deep down into the neighborhoods, into specific areas, it, there's a real easy way to have focus on that. Yeah, they have some they have some great stuff around niche pages. Um, yeah. And we did a we did a deep drill down with the founder of Agent Fire in that webinar that we're linking to. So. Um, well, I just wanted to mention that because it's so cool. <laughs> It is very cool. Uh, and they also have some they have some additional things around landing pages, uh, engaged. They have uh, call to action tools like the flyout you saw on the right site. They have good in integration with things like ManyChat um, and so on. It looks like they're also letting you buy content inside of the platform, which I didn't know about. But you may be able to actually have content created inside of your site with an agent fire site. So the WordPress plugin is 60 bucks a month. Um, so with Agent Fire, you get the WordPress plugin and everything Agent Fire does for 120 a month. So it's basically another 60 to have this custom design, which I think, you know, if you were going to go pay a real estate tomato or a third party uh, WordPress designer, you might pay a thousand or two thousand bucks to have something really pretty built. And I think that the way these Agent Fire sites come out, it's kind of a good deal if you don't want to uh, do it all yourself. So Diane's asking, where are the recordings? The recordings are always at uh, InsideRealEstate.com slash replays. We also post them to the Facebook group as well. All right. So I had a feeling, Annalisa, that that was going to be quick today. Mm -hmm. um, and I know everybody's busy. We don't have to stay and talk just for the sake of talking. But um, I'll, I'll well, uh, answer have a question. question. Yep. Uh, can you add a plug-in like LiveBy or LiveBe? Yep, so any plugin that is in the WordPress repository should be compatible. You can do that. And I don't even know that one. Live by WordPress. What's that one do? Oh, like a live chat plugin? So yeah, any plugin though that it, that WordPress has, you can add in alongside the KV Core plugin. And that's where it starts to get really interesting if you want to extend and do some some funky stuff with your, with your site. You have total control. Where with the KV Core or site out of the box, you know you can. There's a lot of bells and whistles and a lot of design customizations and things you can do. Um, but it's not WordPress, and there are a lot of people out there who really like what you can do with WordPress. So you have that option here if you want it. And so that's if there's the last question, yeah. Sorry. Right, so if there's any questions around this, I don't mind hanging out. If you guys want to go off into a tangent, if you have any questions about. Facebook ads, Google ads, anything with the functionality of the sites, feel free to ask now while you have Annalisa and I both here. Um, otherwise, we'll just kind of let you go and see you again uh, next week. Um, so uh, Eric's saying my broker pays for Creative Core, but we just have the CRM. I was wondering what the service is. Well, uh, you should have the website with the CRM if your broker pays for KV Core. So you do have the front end website. The, the service here is that if you wanted to build your own WordPress plugin, you can kind of integrate the IDX portion of the WordPress, of the KV Core into your WordPress site. And I should mention, I skipped the big detail. All the leads you generate here are going to go into KV Core. That's a very big detail. So, you know, this is all integrated with your KV Core CRM. All the automations and all that stuff on the back end um, are fed by this. Yeah, so Eric, you you know you do probably have the IDX site if your broker's paying for KV Core. Um, you have a URL, uh, and uh, yeah, you can either order Facebook ads or Property Boost from the Marketplace dashboard, or if you want to do that all yourself, we have tons of training about that too in the Learning Portal. Um, I also skipped over in the Learning Portal. There's a course about this plugin that'll kind of just walk you through how to set it up as well. Uh, should be in the mark Marketplace section there so and we'll definitely there it was we'll definitely plug this in this little webinar into into this course but yeah so just a few basics that i'll walk you through so 
if you have an existing, I, I'm getting that some people watching probably have an existing WordPress site that you've had maybe from, you know, for a while. Uh, it was a while there. Everybody seemed to have one. Um, so this is just some information, you know, if you think you want to integrate or if you want to go build your own thing or you think Agent Fire is useful, uh, we just want to get this session down and recorded and make sure you have the information. Any other questions or things you'd like to see on these webinars that you'd like to know about? Um, otherwise, we do have our replays at insiderealestate.com slash replays. There's hundreds of them there. We've been doing steadily uh, probably two or three a week for years, right, Annalisa? So, I you. think going on four to five years, I think, yeah. at least. Yeah. So yeah, guys, we can keep this one short. We don't need to go 45 minutes. We usually go that long. But if everybody's good, uh, I'll just say have a good week. And uh, we'll see you Tuesday for the next KV Core Marketplace webinar. If you happen to be on Conversion Plus and you've been listening, we will be live tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern for a Conversion Plus Basics webinar. Awesome. So all right, have a good one, everybody. Bye. Bye.